uh, internet was bad. Uh, but I think we're playing at like the bottom of platinum, basically. Uh, the season reset a couple of days ago, and went from like the bottom of mythic to the bottom of platinum. I think. All right, we got some colors of mana. Uh, we got two reds. Really want to play as many reds as possible, so this is fine. Reminder, if you like janky decks, deck techs, and or gameplay, like and subscribe. Uh, Jank Brews on YouTube, Jank Brews on uh, Twitch. Boom and block from our opponent, Farah MTG. We've got an otherworldly gaze. I feel like that means we're probably against Bug Reanimator deck, which I don't think we're especially good against. I think because they have many targets uh, for their reanimation, it's not just, say, something like a Traxa that we can hopefully find our one copy of the end and use. Hmm. Hmm, okay, maybe we're, we're not seeing that. I have no idea what we're playing against. I like this card. This is pretty janky. We're just gonna stick with our plan. Um, I am inclined to just dump Confounding Riddle, even though it's what we want to be doing, and we don't know what our opponent's up to. We do have a negate in hand already, and cards in our graveyard uh, are just as good as cards in our hand for the most part in this deck. So in this case, I'm gonna play a on a ridge. Well, no, I forgot. I dumped that. So we're we're gonna play Xander's Lounge, <clears throat> holding up. Negate. I don't see bug colors left yet. Um, I'm inclined to... This is just annoying. Uh, not really knowing what else they're up to. Negate. Negate Jace. Um, partially because we have a play this turn that we'd like to stick with. And it looks like against this deck, I'd want to dump Sunset Revelry. I, I was thinking about big scoring, but since I've just seen these two colors and it's likely they have um, counter magic, I don't really want to run into that. So as long as we still have lands, I'm going to keep playing them not worry about big scoring. They flash anything or they use their mana. Um, they need to use more than that, unfortunately. We'll see more of what they have here. Hopefully they're on some sort of just like virtue of persistence plan um, because literally other than Ojitai, uh, there's nothing for them to get to so Ojitai. Although Cruelty of Gix is, well, fortunately they can't cast them on our turn and usually we'll be in Rona. Um, we may try to, uh, bait out a spell here. They don't do anything. I think I'm gonna Helix, Rona. Okay. There's not even a pause for them to cast a thing. Um, and we do now have enough mana to big score. We could technically double big score. Um, I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna do it on their turn. Galvanic Iteration, yeah, we have the right mana. Uh, this is going to give us, if it, if it, if they have something for it, they're going to have to burn it on their turn. And if they don't, we're going to get quite a few cards. Sunset Revelry feels kind of inconsequential. So does Destroy Evil, but I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and dump Sunset Revelry. It's just if they happen to be in on these uh, Cruelty of Gix, Virtue of Persistence be nice to have double uh, destroy evil available to us. We got a lot of lands here. Um, not exactly where we want to be. I 
but our whole deck is pretty active to us right now. There's a burn down the house. We're going to play a Restless Reef. I don't really know what our opponent's up to. I'm somewhat tempted to Galvanic Iteration into burn down the house uh, and see what happens. Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. We still have a, a pair of mana up. Uh, yeah, we're going to try this. I'm just, I'm curious. It's, it is potentially a lot for them to deal with. It is a three turn clock if they do nothing. I haven't seen any uh, counter magic from them yet. If they want to waste, you know, individual removal spells on these guys, more power to them. Even if it's, you know, uh, Virtue of Persistence, okay with that. Well, that's kind of cool. Reenact the crime. I love that card. I saw my buddies about it. How interesting I thought it was. So this is kind of cool for them. Um, they'll take some damage, but they'll be able to essentially remove our board. Presumably they get rid of ours, yeah. Kind of makes me wish I had the negate or the um, confounding griddle back. Uh, I'm gonna need to draw our namesake card here. <clears throat> they fire up. Oh, they have. Okay, yeah, they've got Restless Reef, so they could fire that up. Uh, I mean, I'd be pretty much happy with that. We have our own punch back with Restless Reef. They'd have to use up all their mana to do it, and we'd have plenty of extra. Cruelty of Gix. Our creature from the graveyard. Okay, they're gonna discard nothing. Let's see what we have. Um, it's kind of cool. This is what we want to destroy evil for. Um, I don't really want them searching for a card. Unless... Okay, maybe now I want them searching for a card. Because when they go to three, it's kind of hard to come back from, unless they have like an exile card. Maybe they do. Uh, I'm a little bit willing to risk that. I don't know if we quite have enough mana for Burn Down the House and Restless Reef from four. Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be... I think, I think we do. It's going to be interesting. Um, so if we go here, we fire up Restless Reef, yeah, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, five, yeah, we're gonna do it. That way, they can... They might have to do this. Yeah, I... Oh no, that's terrible. Wasn't paying attention to the auto-tapper. They would just be dead. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we should pay attention to the auto tapper. Why it would auto tap a freaking uh, man land that I already activated as opposed to using this treasure, I don't know. But I can kind of see it. They're going to need to find some way to gain life or exile my board. Reenact the crime. What do, what do we have here? We've got. Oh wow, this is probably really interesting. This is a game in which the deck should have won, and the pilot has was... Okay, so as long as hit Zergo and Ojitai, they won't get anything from our graveyard. I don't think Jace necessarily does them a whole lot of good, unless there's some sort of loop they can play here. Okay, yeah, I guess they could probably continue looping. Um, as long as they have cards in hand that are good. They might have something cool to do. I like this deck, this is saucy. Ollie. Um, 
Brona isn't bad for us, per se. Confounding Riddle could be bad for us, because they can dig for something good. Um, get like an Atraxa or something. Um, just any way to gain life for them, really, right now is probably fine. Reach. Might be on loop. I've played against a version of this with um, our, our Bant Slogurk deck, where they essentially like breached both of our decks out. <clears throat> uh, looks like they've breached their deck, but we still have 20 cards left. Um, but if they can just breach us out, we're dead. So when they breached us out, we're at, let's see, we'd be at. I will keep watch. Five cards left if they have nothing else. If they have another Jace, no. we just died. No. Uh, which case will be really sad because the deck should have won. Um, if we had not avoided, or if we had not missed the auto tapper hosing us, we would have won off of the cruelty of Gex Trigger to put him at three. Well, redeemed. We should have won that one anyway. Glad that we did. Since this is a jank bruise, we're gonna we're gonna get another brew, Yingling Black and Tan before we go into game two. The RB. If, if ever jank bruise is accused of roping, it's one of two things. Thinking for a long time because we're old and slow, or we went to get a beer. Yeah, we got lands and spells, a pair of Invoke Calamity is maybe not what we want in our opening hand, but we do have a means by which to, if we survive long enough, consider burn down the house. Then play them again with Invoke Calamity. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to have that much time, <clears throat> given what our opponent's thrown at us here, but... Unfortunately, right now, we don't even have white mana. So, if we drew a Lightning Helix, which would be a great draw, otherwise, we can't cast it. So, we can find. Uh, Maestro's Charm. Oof, Maestro's Charm is curious because it is a removal spell that we can cast. I love having it in the yard, but I don't think we have anything else to do next turn, so we're going to draw this card now. <clears throat> can also gain us a little life. Uh, confounding Riddle. Um, yeah. Well, we do have some options. And with one more land of any color, we can and cast Invoke Calamity. And while we don't love doing it, sometimes it's necessary to cast cards from our hand rather than our graveyard. We're on the draw in this game. I feel like we'd have already lost. The Brotherhood's End or something of that nature. Come on out. We could counterspell this. I'm going to let it go. I'm not sure if that's the right play. So they clearly have something they could cast. I'd love to try to 
bait out like a monstrous. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and cast this five damage here. Jason MTG is thinking long and hard about what to do. They've got uh, Monstrous Rage. I think it just gets slammed on Etching of Mono. <clears throat> if what they have was a Lightning Strike or something, it doesn't really matter what they do. Okay, Rafine's Tower means that we do have Burn Down the House, turn 5. And it also means that we can counter literally anything they cast here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, they're not going to have the Kamano in play, like the 2-2 the version of it. And it also means that our Burn Down the House, like, Burn Down the House is pretty weak under these circumstances. Uh, the reason is because Etching of Kamano exiles car creatures that would die, uh, we don't get much value out of our 1-1s. One we literally can't even uh, defend against two etching of Kamanos. Uh, I th think I'm going to take this. I might regret if they just like cast nothing, but the chances of red casting nothing with three mana is low. Yet, here we are. Right now this burn down the house feels bad. Uh, in which case, I'm kind of inclined to Confounding Riddle digging for something. Because I 